हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम अगेन इन योर साइंस क्लास सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अवर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ साइंस दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर 11 एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इन एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट्स सो हियर व्हाट ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इज यूज्ड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन राइट सो ट्रांसपोर्ट ट्रांसपोर्ट मींस टू कैरी थिंग्स फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर राइट right so we are going to discuss about the transportation in animals and plants right means the body of an organism we know that any body re requires nutrients and oxygen to carry out various life processes right waste products produced due to the various fu uh, functions inside the body also need to be transported or we can say that removed right so therefore the term transport may be defined as a life process in case of animals and plants life process in which a material is absorbed in one part of a organ of an organism and is carried to other parts in its body right that is the meaning of transportation in animals and plants right so in animal body these functions are carried out which functions like excretion nutrition right carried out by an internal transport system and called that transport system as circulatory system right so let us understand what is circulatory system so circulatory system or we can say that blood circulatory system right one and the same thing so circulatory system or blood circulatory system is the main transport system right this is the main transport system in human beings and in animals also it makes food water and oxygen available to every part of the body and helps in removing the waste material which waste materials like urea carbon dioxide etc right the circulatory system this circulatory system which is your main transport system in any human being or in any animal right consists of blood it consists of blood blood vessels and heart right and we will discuss in this chapter about all these one by one right so let's start with your first that is blood which is the part of a circulatory system so you know that what is blood right it is a fluid tissue that flows in blood vessels blood vessels ke andar flow karta hai hamara blood it is red in color and it flows through a network of tubes in whole body and we call that network as blood vessels clear so blood is pumped to every part of the animal by heart right it carries to every part with the help of blood vessels and it pumps to every parts with the help of heart blood consists of four components that is plasma RBCs means red blood cells white blood cells that is WBCs and platelets right so blood consists of these four components which ones that is plasma RBC red blood cells WBC that is white blood cells and platelets right so plasma firstly first component of blood is plasma so plasma is a liquid while rbc wbcs and platelets that flow in it right rbc wbc platelets all of these flows in plasma right so plasma is a sticky liquid part of the blood which is pale yellow in color and it is 90% water and 3.5% common salt 
right and it also contain dissolved substances such as digested food waste products and carry them from one part to another part in our body right so second component of blood is rbc that is red blood cells so rbcs are red in color due to the presence of pigment called hemoglobin why the color of rbcs is red because of the presence of a pigment that is called as hemoglobin right so this pigment hemoglobin carries oxygen by binding with it and hemoglobin is a red protein that binds with oxygen and transport oxygen to all the parts of the body and ultimately to all the cells also right it is the presence of hemoglobin which makes the blood appear red as the color of our blood is red this is because of the pigment that is hemoglobin right so when hemoglobin binds with oxygen it forms oxyhemoglobin right i am writing here when our hemoglobin binds with oxygen that we inhale then it form oxyhemoglobin which is transported to various parts of our body and the carbon dioxide from the various body parts is transported back by binding again with hemoglobin right and it forms when it binds with carbon dioxide right that we have to exhale from our body then form carboxy hemoglobin so that the co2 is expelled out from the body right now third component of blood is wbc right so what is wbc wbc is help us to fight against infection right what is the function of wbc helps to fight and protect us from various diseases right so wbc is eats up the germs like bacteria that causes diseases and it also makes antibodies that fight against any type of infection right so the number of wbcs is generally quite less as compared to red blood cells right in our body the amount of red blood cells is more as compared to the amount of w bcs that is white blood cells and wbc can change their shape and move on their own they can squeeze out of the blood vessels to reach any part of the body right so our next component of blood that is platelets right so let's understand what are platelets and what are the function of platelets right so blood platelets are small irregular and tiny fragments of special cells formed in bone marrow so these are colorless right the, uh, bl blood platelets has no color so these are colorless and help in clotting of blood in a cut or wound right if a cut or wound is made you know that if we uh, go through a cut right or any wound then is uh, that cut or wound is made the blood starts flowing from it and you know that very well right after some time what happen the platelets plug the cut and the bleeding stops due to the formation of dark red clot at wound or we can say that on that cut right but if the platelets are not present in the blood then what happen the blood flow from the cut or wound and it will not stop and causing excess loss of blood the, then after that which may be fatal to a person leading to death right if our blood flows continuously if our blood platelets are not there so our blood from the cut or a wound flows continuously then it is the result of death right so what are the functions of blood first of all it transports substances like digested food from the small intestine to the other parts of the body it carries water to all the parts of the body it carries oxygen and co2 during circulation right it also carries waste products like urea carbon dioxide from liver to kidney for excretion in urine 
it protects the body from diseases and all of these component help us to perform these functions by blood right so this is all about the components of blood or blood and in our next class we will continue to discuss about the other circulatory system parts that is blood vessels and heart right so this is all about your today's class and next we will do in our next class thanks have a great day